Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I use the pattern preview feature in Adobe Photoshop. Now this came in in version 2021. I'm using uh, Adobe Photoshop 2022. So let's have a look. I've got a, um, a pattern file here that I'm about to create a pattern with. I've got my motives. They're all uh, smart objects. You can see down here on my layers panel. And I want to arrange them into a pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on pattern preview. So go up to view, pattern preview. And you'll probably get this message come up saying pattern preview works best with smart objects. Transforming pixel layers may show unexpected results. And so I always work in smart objects anyway, but it does recommend you convert your motives to smart objects so that you don't get unexpected results. But I will show you something that does happen um, that is unexpected a little later, later on and I haven't found a workaround that yet I think it's just a bit of a glitch and maybe in later versions it'll be all good But for now, let's just do this. I'm going to click OK Now let's zoom out here And you can see This is our pattern tile which is inside this blue square and you can see it's repeating nicely all out on your screen. We could keep going and make it really teeny tiny or we can zoom in. Now this is a great tool to see and, and create a really balanced pattern. So let's have a play with this and I'm going to duplicate my bird here and you can see how it creates the preview so you can see exactly what you're doing. I might just turn that one around so he's facing the other way. Now with this you can only create a standard block pattern. Uh, they don't have the functionality to create anything fancy like a half drop repeat but at the moment this is pretty cool so I, I'm just going to go with it. And now I just want to move some of these other elements around. Now you can see how easy it is to create a nice balanced pattern when it, the preview is on. If you turn it back off again, it's really hard to see what exactly is happening. And you can see now that I've lost the pieces down the bottom and up here. So let's turn that back on. And just keep going until this is complete. So here's an example of things going a bit funny. I want this bird to be dead on center. So to do that, I use these transform controls. If I set it to canvas and I set the uh, select align horizontal center and vertically center, it should align to the center of your canvas. So as you can see, it's not doing that. But if I was to turn off pattern preview and then try that again, it will align it to the center for me. So that's just one thing to be aware of. Another thing I want to show you is sometimes I might want to create a, a layer mask on an element so that I can then maybe delete a part of it. So let's just delete a part of this branch here. This is just for an example. Now, if I were to then duplicate that and then take it outside, you can see how there's a little bit missing, it disappears, comes back. And then if I take it up there, you can see it goes all weird and wacky. And 
that I suspect is the layer mask causing some problems and pattern preview doesn't like it. So that's another thing to be aware of that it doesn't quite work when you use these and generally I just have to turn them off and then create the pattern. So let's go back and get that back to how it was. And I think I'm happy with my pattern now. So I would then define the pattern by going to edit define pattern or you could just jump into your patterns panel if you can't see it go up to window and select patterns and then click the plus and you can add it to your pattern panel I'm just going to say bird pattern and click OK so now it's in my patterns panel and I'm going to jump on over here to a mock-up that I have just to show you how to add it to something and I've got a piece of card here and I'm going to jump into it it's a smart object and I'm going to add a pattern layer and I need to select my bird pattern and I can scale that down and there it is there and I might actually change the angle as well because this uh, card that I'm holding is on a slight angle. So let's just rotate it slightly. And then you can move it around as well. Might just get those guys centered and then click OK. And then when I save that, it will update my mock up there. If you wanted to save this as a JPEG or a PNG, you could do that and that will save the repeat tile, which is inside the blue square here. So all you need to do is go file, export, export as, and I'm going to select say a JPEG, maybe put the quality on high. Then all you need to do is click on export, call it bird pattern and save and make sure you save the original as a PSD as well and that's it a really cool way to use pattern preview to create really nice balanced patterns if you like this and you want to see more don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you'll always know when I post another video happy pattern making